This circus is not a place of great wonder and mystery. It's a combination of freak show and monsters. It's a brutal place. We're touching on themes that are very close to my heart. This is an aspect of the magical world that I never really explored in Potter, even though I knew it was there. The circus stuff, and I quite enjoy that research, trying to create some animals that look like they haven't necessarily been cared for the best, and you've got to feel for them, they've got to have that heart, and it's quite nice to be able to try and create that. Well, that'll be the tower. There's a Chinese bestiary that is utterly fascinating. The Zuwu is described in Chinese mythology as a gigantic elephant-sized cat, five-colored, and the Zuwu is very fond of Newt, but to anyone else, absolutely horrific. And the Zuwu's had a lot of iterations. It's really developed. It's been one of those creatures who's taken a while to get right, you know, for everyone to be happy. And that's where everyone has, an, you know, David Heyman, David Yates, Joe, everyone that comes in has an opinion because they're such important creatures and, you know, making it Chinese, making it cat-like. But if you read the descriptions in Fantastic Beasts, the actual book, you'd be plonking bits of animal together and that's okay, but, you know, you kind of want to give it its own heritage, if you like, its own being. So you've got to look elsewhere as well. And it's tough. It's really tough because the natural world is so amazing. Amazing. It's hard to come up with original, new, fully functioning, believable creatures. It was insane for the circus to think that they could exhibit a zoo without trouble, but they are a little arrogant, and what happens is predictably awful. You don't want something like that loose on the streets. Even in the first movie, you haven't unleashed anything quite that terrifying anywhere. It really does take a new commander to contain and look after that beast. Credence has managed to hide in the circus, and no one asks too many questions. The circus is a reflectively abusive environment to the one he just broke out of, not with full intention. The Obscurus broke him out violently. <laughs> Credence, who has truly had nothing to live for except to know who he is, also realizes he had, at least almost, something to live for in his companion. When we first meet Credence, he has formed a powerful emotional connection for the first time in his life with someone who's very like him in certain ways. Nagini is a prisoner in this place, and there's another layer to it because she's bound to become a prisoner in her own body. She's a maledictus. That means someone who carries a blood curse. They appear to be like an animagus, which is something in the wizarding world, which means someone can change at will and transform back into the creature with which they have the most affinity, I would say. But a maledictus is something very different. Slowly, over time, they are turning into a creature, and they can't stop it. They can't turn back. They will become a beast. With everything that implies, they will lose themselves. They'll be alive, but in beast form, whereas an animagus retains their human brain. Every time she turns into a snake, it takes her one step further to being fully that creature for the rest of her life. Hadi Kim is a very elegant young woman, and I did a dress for her that I found this lace and screened over with metallic foil to get the idea of a snake skin without literally using a snake skin for visual effects. And then I did ruffles that went around the bottom and the sleeves to kind of epict potentially the coils of a snake. These movies have given me the chance to tell a story that I knew all along about Nagini, who appears only as a snake in Potter. Nagini was always once a woman in her mind, which is so deeply disturbing. Now, there were always hints that she had been human in her name, because the Naga are, in mythology, a race of snake beings. So the name was an allusion to the fact that she may herself once have been human. What I'm really intrigued about is where Joe takes Nagini next. So I filmed the end, and we filmed the beginning. I want to know what happens in the middle. I never wanted to give this enormous dollop of backstory, but now I can tell it, which is very satisfying and fits perfectly into the theme of this movie.
For credence, his big question is, who am I? We know he's very, very powerful to have survived this condition so long. He is now setting out on a journey of self-discovery to understand his own point of origin. And this is the transformation. I want to know who I am. Grindelwald holds the knowledge. This is where you will find proof of your true identity. This person is a victim to violence and ultimately being so easily manipulated. That's the tragedy 